Part four, fluency. When we think of fluency, I want you to think of a student's ability to pronounce words with the proper speed, accuracy, and expression. These are gonna be the foundational components of a student's fluency. And it's sort of a pivot point. A student that is fluent, we think of a student that's fluent, they're able to move on to comprehension and focus their attention on learning and acquiring more vocabulary or focus on, you know, the structure of an informational or expository text or practice, you know, some type of uh, uh, comprehension strategy before, during, or after reading. So they're really able to, with fluency, start to focus on comprehension. And students that lack fluency or have gaps in fluency well, they have to go back and they have to attend to things involving maybe a breakdown in fluency, maybe involving letter sound correspondence, or maybe involving um, gaps in sounds and phonemes. So, so this is a really sort of a pivotal point. On your exams, this is going to be the, the separation line between foundational skills and comprehension, okay? So it's really a really important area. And one more thing, you can, you can see from the picture there the age range. Let me see if I, I can't get my finger quite there. Maybe I can move my, my camera over a little bit to point it out. Let me move, whoa, whoa, let's move it over here. Okay, right here, I'll move it right here so I can, I can reach everything. Okay, in this corner right here, you see the age range. Fluency, this fluency right over here, it's happening around it's being developed in first, second, third grade and onwards. But you know, you're gonna have a lot of questions and the questions for fluency, they tend to be more around, don't be surprised if they're in the second grade range. Just as with phonics, remember phonics right here, there was a lot of uh, kindergarten and maybe first grade questions. And, and with phonological and phonemic awareness, there was a lot of like preschool and kindergarten questions. So be prepared to have a bunch of second grade questions um, involving fluency and maybe even third grade questions involving fluency too. So just keep this in mind as, as we go through the grades, oh, <laughs> as we do that stuff, just always keep in mind the back of your head, you know, the grade level. Now it doesn't mean that fluency can't happen earlier, let's say at first grade, but that's probably more the teacher modeling fluency. And of course, there are plenty of students in the upper grades, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, seventh grade that lack fluency. So fluency is one of those things, reading at the proper speed, accuracy, and expression. And, and those, those, um, those levels um, uh, get adjusted as you go up in the grade. So reading rate adjusts, increases as you go up in the, in the grade. So all those things adjust as you go up in the grades. And so, so it's always going to be sort of a moving a moving goal, okay? All right, okay, let's get into fluency, or right, let's talk about some the components of fluency.